Next, I'm going to talk about the Content Aware Move tool. The Content Aware Move tool is similar to the Content Aware Fill in the sense that Photoshop has to figure out what should have been where a specific element in the image was as it moves the element across the page and into its new position. It's a lot more complicated though because you are taking an object and moving it. Photoshop has to do a lot of work. It has to simultaneously move the selected element, replace where it was in the image, and then make the moved content fit seamlessly into the new location. And so that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, I want to just point out something that's not on the slide here. Um, when you were using the Content Aware Move tool, you may have to find it um, somewhere other than you're seeing it in my screenshot here. Um, in my version of Photoshop, I have to push and hold the bottom of the Tools panel to be able to expand the flyout to select the Content Aware Move tool. Yours might be hidden behind another tool on your Tools panel, so just keep that in mind. The steps that we are going to follow to use the Content Aware tool are to first make a selection of what you would like to move, and then I'm going to make a new layer so that whatever changes I make are non-destructive editing changes. Just in case I mess up, I'll be able to get back to them. We can choose the Content Aware Move tool from the Tools panel, like I showed you in the previous slide. Um, and then uh, it's important to sample all layers. So because I want to make the changes on a different layer that don't have any that doesn't have any content, um, I need to select the sample all layers option from the options bar at the top of the screen. Once that's selected, you can click and drag your selection, and you'll see it visu visibly move across the screen. And then when you're ready, you can hit return, and you'll accept the changes, and you will see the original, in our case, barn, will disappear, um, and the new barn will be in its new place. Now, it's never perfect the first time you do it, and it doesn't work right on all images, and so you'll see on our example here that after you move the barn, the wire or the power line that's in the background, it didn't work so well on that, and so I may have to do additional steps to get rid of the power line, and you can see that in the final version of this image, I have removed the power line from the background using Content or Fill in conjunction with the Content or Move tool that I used for the barn. I'm going to jump over to Photoshop and show you how this works. And so I have the same image that Whitney was just showing you, and she's already removed the fence posts. And so now I want to remove the barn. And so uh, to add upon Whitney's non-destructive editing, I'm going to create a new layer so that my changes are on the new layer. And I am going to make a, let's grab the Content Aware Move tool. I am going to make a selection of the barn or the area that I wish to move. In this case, it's a barn. With it selected, I need to make sure that I'm on the new layer so that the changes apply to the new layer. On the options bar at the top of your screen, make sure that you choose to sample all layers. And then now, with the Content Aware Move tool selected, I'm going to click and drag to move my barn across the field. You can put it as far or as close uh, to the original barn as, as you'd like. And then I'm going to drop it and hit return and it will process and maybe the first time it does it, it does a great job and it's perfect or maybe you do it and it doesn't work out the way you want. You can always undo and try a different position on the screen. When I deselect, you can see that the power lines are not where they're supposed to be and so you could then use a content aware fill tool like Whitney showed you. I'll just do one, maybe this one on the side here. By making a selection, choose edit and fill and then change the contents to content aware and you can use Content Aware Fill to remove the unwanted elements from your picture. Now you'd probably want to zoom in a little closer to get rid of those power lines that I did, but you can see how it could quickly change the composition of your picture.